Welcome back to another video review. Again, I'm trying to get some video reviews out for some gift ideas for the holidays, and I have a small little guy, um, and it's called the ReadyCam. R E T I C A M. You can find it on Amazon. It's about 25 bucks, and it is a aluminum smartphone mount for a tripod. Very simple. Obviously, a lot of people are using their cameras on their phones. It's kind of their everyday camera. Um, in this case. If you ever wanted to do a shot of a group or something like that without balancing your phone on something, you kind of want to have something so you can mount your phone. In this case, it does obviously have a platform on the bottom, so if you put your phone mounting into it, you could even just set it on the table and have a quick, easy tripod. But there is a quarter 20 mount on the bottom for an actual tripod. Um, and this is the ReadyCam XL, which I bought because I do have myself a iPhone 6 Plus. And in this case, I'll show you exactly how it does it. So, uh, and you don't really have a set way to do it, but because it's, this is how I do it, because of the screen, but um, I already have a kind of preset where I can just slide it in. But once you slide it in, it's got rubber feet, so you're not going to scratch the phone. You just twist it down, and there we have it. So here's what she looks like in uh, the mount itself in the ready cam, uh, and then obviously it gives my my camera a, or my uh, phone a nice and sturdy place. It's not going to fall over on me. Um, if I actually pull up the phone itself, um, I can actually you know, pull up the camera. Geez, how about that? I can actually show you. Um, obviously, there's nothing going on back here except for me. Uh, but this is a perfectly great way to get yourself on a shot and then obviously you can put uh, the timer on and then do a group shot or in this case you know if you want to take video and you don't want to you know as shaky a video no of course certain cameras including this one has Im uh, image stabilization built into it but um, it's of course better if you can put that tripod especially if you do night shots things like that um, I wanted to be able to do some really neat things with my phone and I have an up upcoming review that I actually use this for the review a lot um, but it, uh, yeah, it allows you to use your phone's camera on a tripod or on a desktop for that matter. Uh, and to show you how simple it is, how simple this item is, all it is, and if I unscrew this all the way, and there's a lot of movement to it. I mean, that was the 6 Plus. I mean, I could have a much larger phone. I can't use it with an iPad or a tablet, but I mean, you can see how huge that is and this is an iPhone 6 Plus so you can see how huge it is in comparison to the 6 Plus even. Um, but basically just a big threaded pin and then there these two nylon, or at least they, they're a plastic, um, what I would assume nylon, items that just allow it to um, ride so it stays in position. Uh, but it's just these two aluminum mounts here and then that threaded rod. So if you actually had a phone, if you actually watched some uh, if you actually have like a an iPhone 5C, I know for sure, because it's so small that these little spacers that are built into the nylon bushings here are a little too large, you can get a much smaller phone by re re uh, removing these and then just throwing that all the way down. There is a, a way for the, there's a hole down here for the, th the uh, bolt, I guess, action to come out the bottom so it's not too long. But um, and putting it back together, obviously, just slide them back into place into the proper holes uh, and then it lines up and then it keep, that keeps everything together and we're good to go. So that is the ready cam. Um, again like I said on I purchased it through Amazon myself uh, 25 bucks basically and you have yourself a nice little aluminum uh, smartphone mount and uh, there are a lot of other ones out there that are cheaper but this one definitely is well built and that's the reason I got it is because I didn't want to have another one of those products that I use and then it broke after whatever half a year or whatever. Um, this one is definitely built very well. So I have no problem with saying that this is going to last a lifetime. And obviously it's not made for one specific brand of phone or size of phone. It's a very adjustable. Um, and in my case, because of the 6 Plus, it fits that very, very well. I don't see myself going to a smaller phone again because I love my 6 Plus, but that said, the ReadyCam, and it does come in two sizes. This is the ReadyCam XL, which is for the larger phones. If you have a smaller phone, you want to stay with the smaller phone, get the smaller one, obviously, um, but that is the ReadyCam.
So, hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Uh, you can reach me at contact at thetechgooch.com or check us out at The Tech Gooch. The website hasn't been updated fully yet. I'm in the slow process of getting it back to where I want it to be. But yeah, check, come on over and see what we're doing. And if you have any que any suggestions, let me know. Uh, that said, um, hope to see you on the next review. Thanks for watching.